1915, the hydroelectric plant at Thompson Falls began generating electricity for Montana's industries and Montana's homes. And that beginning brought an end to native fish migration along this stretch of the Clark Fork River. And then... So we were wandering around below this dam, uh, wondering if we could uh, catch fish here, where they might stack up. But what, what you noticed right away were fish jumping up these whitewater uh, areas, crevices in the bedrock. Inspired by these observations, discussions began almost immediately on the possibility of building a fish ladder to restore these migrations. And recently at a celebration in Thompson Falls, this story of possibility became a reality. These hydroelectric facilities were developed in some cases over 100 years ago. And what we're really doing is trying to prepare them for the next 100 years, but taking into account more resource management and stewardship of the uh, resource in the river for the benefit of Montanans and the wildlife and uh, fisheries that surround it. This ladder has 48 step pools that come up 75 feet to the top of the dam. So bull trout will be able to swim into each pool and then jump to the next pool, gradually making their way up to the top of the ladder so that they can swim upstream. In addition to the fall and spring migrations of bull trout, the springtime spawning run of our native West Slope cutthroat, a native species of special concern, is expected to fully utilize this fish ladder. This is Mike Gurnett, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.